In this episode of Create Colonies, we are hard focused on making our town bigger. Hey there, welcome back to... Uh, <laughs> why did I forget the name? Hey there, welcome back to Create Colonies, and today we're going to be hard focused on our town over here. I want to get this thing really going, and uh, we're actually going to start off by giving out a few names. Uh, if you don't know, you can actually uh, provide me with a name and I will name one of the colonists after you. Just write it in the comments down below, but you have to be subscribed. You have to be subscribed in order to get, to get, get named. All right. Oh, right. I forgot. We need some leather in order to make a name tag. All right. I guess we're going out and we're looking for some cows. Cows right there. Now, I did already find a couple cows, but I think the smarter way to do this would be to actually take these cows home with me. You might be wondering how I'm going to do that without a lead. Well, I've got a plan. Check this out. We've got carry on in this mod pack and we can do this. <laughs> oh, we could take the cow with us. Look at look at us. Look at us. <laughs> We're taking the cow. You're coming with me, buddy. All right, I think I'm going to build a temporary pen over here somewhere. All right, there we go. This is only temporary, but for now, it'll work just fine. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now let me get you a friend. All righty. There we go. Two cows ready to be turned into more cows. Come here, guys. All right, now make friends. Yes, perfect. All right, we're making more cows and eventually we'll have more leather from said cows uh, to start naming more colonists. But for now I can do two. All right, so the first person we're gonna be naming is our tavern keeper. And to be honest, I don't actually know who the tavern keeper is because it doesn't show up here for some reason. All right, so her name is going to be Alyssa. All right. So what'll it be for you? You are now Alyssa. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Next up, we got this one. I had to, I had to Google this to figure out how to say it. Uh, I believe this is pronounced Kike. Kike. Uh, um, Kike is going to be one of our builders. You are now you say so. Kike. There you go. There you go. We now got Kike and Elise, Alyssa in our village. Which is kind of awesome. I am going to do more names, but I'm I'm out of leather, so I can't. <laughs> we got to focus on getting this place uh, done. Our warehouse. I believe that... Who was it that's working on the warehouse? Um, so you need a lot of different things. And lucky for me, I already have the machines down. Uh, gathering up oak and spruce as we speak. Right here. Oh, yes. Look at all this. Look at all this. There you go. 100% supplied. Uh, Liberty should be getting to work on the new building and getting it finished, hopefully sooner rather than later. It's a fine afternoon. There are no guard barrack towers near me. Okay, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Don't worry about the guard barrack towers, okay? It's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is they're asking for a forester's hut. I'm inclined to build one of those, despite the fact that I probably don't need it. But it might be a good idea to have at least one just to supplement, just to supplement the create mod stuff. And also um, having one will allow us to automate things within the colony, which will be nice. And I think I want to put it like back here, like way back in this like back corner. To me, it just makes sense to have all of our like industrial stuff and our farming and stuff like that back here behind the uh, like, I think I'm probably going to put my farms like maybe down here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is, though, that our uh, forester's hut is going to go right here in this very back corner. Somebody also told me to take a look at every uh, take a look at the buildings at their level five stage. Uh, before I place them down. And that is a really good piece of advice because it'll really, I think, it'll, I think it'll help out a lot for spacing and things like that later on because eventually we want all of our buildings to be at level five. Boom. Kike, you are building this forester's thingy. I think it's going to take a while for Kike to get this uh, forester's hut done because it is far away. 
All right, other than a couple birch logs, Kike's got everything he needs to build out that, uh, to build out that forester's hut over there. Uh, for now, I think I'm gonna go grab that birch. All right, I'd say four stacks of birch is probably good enough for us for quite a while. Kike only needs like two birch logs, so. All right, now we're probably going to need a, what do you call it, a, um, a guard's tower. And I think our first guard's tower will probably go right on the corner of our, um, of our town hall. Yeah, Kike, yeah, Kike, you go get to work on that forester's hut, okay? Get, get her done, get her done there, buddy. Guard tower, guard tower, guard tower. We're gonna put it like right over here somewhere, I think. One thing I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at this building and see what it looks like when it's fully upgraded. Dude, that's gonna look so cool. Oh my gosh, this thing looks sweet. Oh, this building looks so dang cool. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. This looks so good. Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah, we're gonna put the guard tower right there, I think. We're gonna have it pushed right up against our town hall. This can go right here. Look at this warehouse, it is really coming along. Though I am definitely going to need to add more dirt here. We don't have a lot of dirt, but you know what? One thing we do have, which is gonna be very helpful, is um, construction wands. These things. These are freaking awesome. Let me show you why really quick. If I just do that, look, if we shift and scroll wheel, we can change it. Horizontal column. Perfect. There we go. Nice. There we go. Now everybody will actually be able to access this place, but we are going to run out of dirt very, very quickly like this. I need to be able to terraform the land here, right? And the uh, builder's wand will help me out with that a lot, as you can see, but I actually need the materials. I need the materials. I need dirt. I need lots of dirt. What I really don't need is this. These guys over here. Can you get lost? Get out of my town. This town ain't big enough for the uh, the four, four of us. Go away. What does the fisher's hut look like? That might be a good thing to build and I know exactly where I'm going to put it. I know exactly where I'm going to put it, which is right down here on this lake. That is going to be exactly where our Fisher's Hut is going to go. All right, we're putting this right here. Man, this town is really coming along. It is really coming along. I almost might need a third builder. I'm definitely going to put my third builder over here, or maybe I should put it on the back side. That's going to look so sweet when it's all done. It's going to look so industrial in this little spot right here. Right there. Damn, you see these, these, both these builds need so much dirt because I'm building them in, in like such a, in, in like, in basically in like open space. So we're going to have to deal with that. Maybe we just head way over here. That's probably our best bet is just go way out here into these woods over here. This taiga. Cause I don't want to go over here because this is where TV town is. I don't think he would appreciate me quarrying out huge swaths of land right next to his town. <laughs> As funny as that would be. I'm gonna start over here somewhere. All right, go machine, go. Well, the environment is not my best friend, but uh, we are getting the dirt we need, so that's good. <laughs> oh, this looks ugly as heck. Is this efficient? Yes. Is it unethical? Maybe. Do I care? No. No, I do not. Worst case scenario, we come back and we fix it. Almost 5,000 pieces of dirt, which should be enough to hold us over for quite a while. How's it looking over here, Kike? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, it's coming along nicely. Man, this warehouse is massive. It's like, it's almost bigger, it's bigger than our town hall. I am working on forming a union. You do not do that. Do not form a union, please. Mason, I sw if you form a union, I swear. I If, if you do that, I'm got <laughs> You better not. There we go. Now, Alyssa and Mr. Union over here are uh, building away at their new builder's huts. This might be overkill, but I think that 
it'll do us for a good long time to have four builder's huts. Yay, storage. Awesome. Oh yes, our storage is finally complete. Great news. Now we can actually assign couriers to this now, I guess. Deliverers requested items blocked. I guess we don't have any more workers. Your colony does not have enough space to house another citizen. Oh, I need to actually make more space. That changes things. All right, that's good to know. I think I want the housing to be near the tavern because who doesn't want to live next to a tavern, right? Oh, I see. So is the alt house like a, uh, does it have like multiple residences? It's like an apartment complex. And let's see what it looks like at level five. Oh man, that's fancy. We've also got a brick house. Wow. Wow. I think this will match this really nice. And then our town hall can be sort of like, can be a little bit standout. This is cool. We've got like our main thoroughfare right here. Uh, now this is kind of a mess. And I'd like to walk between here uh, to get to where all these guys are. So I'm going to make myself another builder's wand. There we go, much better. We really need, we really need this housing up. I think I'm gonna put a second one like directly behind it as well. Actually, you know what? May as well do that now, actually. Here we go, our homes will be touching and then there'll be like this little alleyway back here. This is where our criminals like to hang out. Give me your money. Give me all your emeralds. I'm taking them. Build it. I'd like that Fisher's Hut to be done sooner rather than later because that's where, gonna, that's where our main source of food is gonna be coming from. Nice, we got a home done. Perfect, that's great, that's great. Can be, th what? I could throw a brick. Oh no, the mayor's been drinking again. He's throwing bricks through the tavern windows. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let me let me solve. Let me fix this. Sorry there, guys. Sorry, sorry. My bad. There we go. Our next house is done. That's insane. Time for more citizens. Children may only be born when there is open space in one of the buildings. Children need to be fed and sleep well to grow up. Children. My colonists are going to have children. Mason, your stats are weak. If you say so. You're working right now? It doesn't look like it. Looks like you're slacking. Slacking on the job, Mason. Get get to work, Mason. What? We have a child? Already? Where did you come from? Parents unknown. The heck? Are you st you're staying? Is this I was gonna say, are you working in the guard tower? There's another child in here! What? Where, what are all these children doing? In these homes? In these buildings? Why is there a child in the guard tower? Somebody deal with this! Alright, I didn't... What? No! What's going on? Southeast? We've got bar 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 the barbarians coming? I can't believe this. We don't even have a guard yet. Everyone stay in your homes and don't come out. I will I will deal with this barbarian scourge. Don't you dare touch my citizens, you barbarian bastard. Fight me. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be right. Back. Suckers. Victory. <laughs> There's only two of them. <laughs> Take that, you fools. We did it. I saved the town. Um, I would like to see if I can upgrade one of these uh, residences because we're gonna need even more people. Build options, upgrade. Ah, builder's hut of level two. Oh, the fishing hut is now complete. Great job there, Liberty. Great job. Need something? Man, look at this town. It's so big now. Who's this? You're just a raccoon? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am a raccoon. But heck you, I'm staying? I can't, I can't recruit you. I don't have puffer fish. What do you mean, heck me, I'm staying? You're literally a raccoon. We don't house raccoons here, okay? Okay, even humanoid ones. 
Are are do we have just like children who have immediately taken up residence in these houses? Yeah. Assigned citizens. You just immediately took this house. What the heck? I don't want children. I don't want these children here. I want useful citizens. I build housing for useful citizens, not you two. Not you two. Yeah, yeah, you look like you look like the kind of kid who would steal stuff at the local convenience store and then you turn around and go, oh, it wasn't me. I didn't do that. I'm just an innocent little boy. No, I, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it for a second. I can't, I can't hire any of these people. What can I do Or for you? recruit any of these people because I guess I don't have housing anymore. I'm waiting for these kids to grow up. But maybe we can reassign some workers. Probably a good idea if I reassign somebody to do some fishing. And I think Mason is probably the guy for the job. Hi. Uh, so we're going to make Mason a fisherman. Oh, Addison. What's it today then? For six cakes. Six cakes. She's got good agility too. I can't make six cakes. Jeez, these people. These people want so much from me. What do you mean six cakes? I'll give you I'll give you like ten diamonds instead. How's that, Addison? How's that? No? I guess, yeah, well, fine. You want six cakes. Six cakes? Absurd. I think I think Liberty's stuck. Let's liberate her from her prison. Uh I'm guessing you need a fit Whoa, bro. I did not know you looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you hang out on the outskirts of town, I'll say that. I'm guessing he needs a fishing rod. Right? I would assume as much. I think that's a safe bet. Let's see. I want to see this guy go fishing. Look, there he goes. There he goes. Down to the old fishing hole. I'm Mason. I'm in a former union. By myself as the only fisherman in town. <laughs> Take that, Mason. Form your little union. Be my guest. Why aren't you fishing off the dock? I made you a perfectly good dock. You're fishing right here. What a guy. Do we have to wait for like children to grow up now? Is that like what we're waiting for? Like, I mean, we could build more housing. I'd actually like to upgrade one of these homes, but in order to do that, we need a builder's hut level two. Uh, build options. Builder's hut level two. And another builder's hut level two. Yes. Upgrade. We're gonna do two level two builder's huts. Acacia? You need acacia for this place? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. There ain't no acacia around here. We're living near a frozen ocean. Where do you think acacia's coming from, huh? We're not, we're not near a savanna. We're nowhere near a savanna. All right, so our builders' huts are going to level two. Uh, we got we got two residences here, both taken up by children because for some reason children need a whole house to live in. We got our our um, our uh, what's it called? Our warehouse. Our warehouse is is done and it's ready to be used, though we are not using it quite yet, mostly because we don't have enough colonists. Uh, we got a guard tower up which again is also unused. We got our fisher's hut down here, which is being used by Mason. Is there a problem? Our, our, our local um, union master or whatever you'd call it. Uh, and then we've got a, um, a forester's hut over here, which is pretty cool. Um, but we have yet to even use this thing. It's a good spot for it though. I actually like where it is. Uh, I think next time we'll start building farms and stuff over here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe over here, maybe actually over here is where we'll have like a mine next to the mountain. Anyways, our town has grown immensely. I don't know about these two builders huts back here. These might go away, but for when we got them, they were pretty useful. But well, we might, we might get rid of them and replace them with something else. I don't know. Somehow we're going to need to get acacia, but I think I'm going to figure that out in the next episode. The town is so big now. It's so big. It's coming together really great. It's like, I can't believe, I can't believe how nice this town is now. You know what? I'm going to hide my armor. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Next time, next time's going to be interesting, I think. Next time, we're going to have, we're going to find a way to 
find ourselves some acacia. And also, I think, I think I'm gonna try to do something with our old, with our old home over here, this old hut, the old, uh, the old hole in the wall. It's gonna get a big old upgrade. That's right, that's right. It's gonna be quite interesting. I will see you in the next one, okay? Later, have a good night. Uh, everything's great. I, I said I'll see you in the next one twice. I don't know why. Sometimes these exits just don't work well for me because it's often like really late at night and I am super tired and I am just talking words and not making any sense. And that's just, you yeah, know, that's just life. That's, or maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> All right. That's, that's enough. That's enough mining and crafting for today. We got our big old colony up and running and looking great. Uh, I actually also like to get some chocolate.